It is extraordinary that this carpet hasn't been seen since the 17th century when it was first woven until 2007 when it appeared at auction in Osaka. It is a silk 17th century carpet woven in Isfahan under the reign of Shah Abbas. He created a quarter within Isfahan called New Jalfa where Armenian weavers were specifically able to weave and produce raw silk. Until relatively recently, this carpet remained undocumented, unillustrated and essentially unknown to academics in this field. The likelihood is that this carpet entered into Japan during the Edo period, which started in 1603 and finished in 1868. The Edo period was known for closing down its links with the West. The only trading company that was allowed to continue was the Dutch East India Company, and it is likely that that is how it arrived in Japan during the Edo period. What remains astonishing with this carpet, however, is its condition. It is unrestored and the colours remain as fresh as they were when they were first woven. Of the Polonaise carpets that we know, most of those are small format. This belongs to a much smaller, rarer group of large format carpets, of which we know of only 30 examples. Of the 30, we believe this to be the second largest. At 544 centimetres, here we have a very, very grand carpet of large proportions which would have dominated any room that it was intended for. The salvages, the side cords and the, the finishes at both ends of the carpet are complete, which is extraordinary because they are usually the first things to be exposed and damaged. The interesting point to note on this carpet is the absence of metal thread. The so-called group of Polonaise carpets, by and large, include metal thread within their designs. And the absence of that within this carpet may suggest that this is an earlier prototype. We know that Polonaise carpets were on occasion woven as pairs. We have a number of small format rugs that are known so it is tantalising to think whether perhaps there is another twin out there. 